Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is a special pickup and lot of here. <coughs> uh, this is not my route. Uh, I don't think this is. I don't think this is anybody route. It's just before I started mine, they sent me this. You gotta be real careful with that mailbox over there. Because you really can't see it. There we go. Pretty decent size. It's pretty good. So what's going on, folks? Everything's all right? I hope. Well, again, like I mentioned the other days or in my other videos, how the women in my house, my girl, my mother, especially my girl, she, she doesn't, she doesn't listen. What happened is, about, I would say about two months ago, she went into Walmart and she bought, she, she listened to one of those marketers. You know those guys that go inside of Walmart and then telling you they will switch you over from whatever company you are to this company. They will give you like this percent off and that percent off and you will pay lower price and, and, and things like that. Which I keep telling her, listen, those guys they get paid by commission. They are not telling you the truth, the whole truth. They'll tell you something else so you can sign up with their whatever gimmick of a program. But they, they will not telling you the truth. So now, because of that, she listened to one of those salesmen who told her, listen, uh, if you switch from Metro PCS to AT&T, you only going to pay $19 a, a, a month. Forget about that $50 you're paying at Metro. And she went ahead and listened to the guy. She didn't tell me though, because she know uh, I, will, I will be against it. And because I already told her, don't listen to those guys. You don't have to be rude to them. Just tell them you are not interested you already have a phone and all that stuff okay so now she went ahead and signed up with the fellow with AT&T okay a first month was like $19 a second month was $19 a third month is $169 plus tax so you're looking about $170 she was paying $50 with Metro with no problem. There was no problem with the phone, nothing. Nothing, no problem at all. And then, now, she coming to me and complaining that, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, and I knew I was, shouldn't listen to. The same old, same old bullshit. The same bullshit, the same, oh, I thought you were right, I knew you were right, but, um, you know, I had to, I, I thought like, you know, I was going to get a good deal and stuff, but, you know, they charged me uh, um, uh, 169 and stuff. I'm like, yo, I, from the beginning, I told you, listen, don't come to me with that bullshit, I'm not going to mess with it. You keep getting fucked up. You keep getting yourself in trouble. I keep telling you, stop doing this. Stop making stupid decisions when I tell you strictly 
<coughs> Excuse me. When I'm specifically telling you not to do this bullshit, you always listen to somebody else. You always. Yo, I told you, man, don't trust those guys because they are salesmen. They will lie to you so they can make a commission. There's nothing wrong with your phone. In fact, I have your phone. <coughs> because my phone, which is in my truck right now, my phone was acting up and I couldn't walk straight with it. But there's nothing wrong with yours. Why are you keep doing this? I'm sorry and stuff. Those are the same type of women. They are in a relation with you. You treating them right. And, and, and I'm speaking from primary source here. You treating them right. Hey, good morning. You treating them right. You do everything for them. And they met one guy at a bus stop. Tell them, hey girl, you pretty. Let's have sex. They know they're not supposed to have sex with this guy. They know they're not supposed to do anything with this guy. But they went ahead and do it. <coughs> Why? <coughs> oh, because he said I'm pretty. You haven't told me I'm pretty ever since we met. You just told me I'm pretty like <coughs> two weeks ago. He just told me I'm pretty now, so that's why I did it. And then you end up getting caught STD and, and you're like, oh my God, I should have known. And uh, I should have known this guy was a scumbag. And so, yo, this is primary source speaking here, man. Again, the reason, the only reason I told you I'm with my girl and, and I told her straight up is because of our daughter. It's because of our daughter, man. I got way better things to do. Because my mom likes her. And I love her mother. And for a short period of time, I'm willing to make a sacrifice because there are so, certain things that are very personal to me. You know, and I don't want to uh, mess things up. I got certain plans that involve them. And it's very big. So I don't want anything to mess up. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, that call is still there. This is the type of women that you are dealing with. Always get fucked up with something you tell them not to get involved with. I don't want you to go ahead and then be friend with those women over there. Because they are skinks. They will fuck things up, they will lie, they will cheat, they will say anything just to make themselves look good. Just for the hell of it. You understand me? Oh yes. And then she went ahead and go ahead befriended with those same women you specifically telling her not to. And then those women go ahead and lie and say bad things about her, posting things about her online, and she go ahead and, and, uh, and, and talk to you. Oh, uh, these girls and stuff. Then I told you not to be friend with them. Then I told you not to get nowhere close to them and talk to them and anything like that. Yeah, but you know that one girl was really nice and I fell for it and all this boo. Yo, I ain't got time for this, man. I ain't got time for this boo, man. And I made my, I made my mind. I made up my mind a long time ago, like I told you guys. This is an excuse that I'm finding. I know what to do. I know how to do it. It's just every fucking time I'm trying to do it, they're standing on my fucking way. I'm trying to do something meaningful here, man. I'm trying to build generation wealth. I told you women to behave. Stop making stupid decisions when I told you. I can understand when you made a mistake. If this guy walk up to you and telling you he's gonna give you some type of discount, you didn't know anything about it. Okay, you go ahead, you did it. Okay, that, that, that was a mistake. Yo, I sit you down. I talk to you. I 